Hello, this is a quick overview of my online anatomy courses at Mount Hood Community College. You've already gone past this page, but when you first log into Blackboard, there's two important things that you might have missed. I can make announcements to the entire class over here, so take a look there every day that you log in. I may also send you personalized messages over here, so make sure that there's no messages sitting in that inbox. Otherwise, go ahead and click on the course. In a moment, you're going to be reading through the syllabus and schedule pages. These are very important pages, especially this one here, the schedule. This shows you what assignments are due and when they are due. So please refer to this page if you are ever in question as to what you need to be doing each week. For the most part, we do one chapter every week, but there are a couple of weird weeks where we do more than one chapter. You must click on the Mark Reviewed buttons on the syllabus and schedule pages before you will see the rest of the course. Once that has happened, you can click on the Lessons Homepage button and find the rest of the material that you need. Right now, you can't see that because the left-hand menu has been collapsed. You need to click on this little right-hand arrow over here before this menu bar shows up. At any point in time, you can click on the Lessons Homepage button to get back to this list over here of all of the chapters that you need to work on throughout the term. To begin, you're going to be clicking on Chapter 1 and working through that chapter. I have divided Blackboard up into individual chapters that correspond to the textbook. At the beginning of each of these chapters is an instructions page, which tells you everything that you need to do to complete that chapter. It will also provide a bunch of links to optional files that may help you to complete the work. When you have downloaded everything that you need to, click on the Next Page button up here. As long as you keep on clicking these Next Page buttons, you will be brought to every single page that you need to within Blackboard. If you ever get lost, you can always go back and click on the Lessons page and start over. Downloading any of those PDF files is optional. They are meant to be helpful, but not necessary. For instance, on the left, we have a list of the homework questions. You will be submitting all of your answers within Blackboard, but if you wish to print off a copy of all of the questions ahead of time, maybe to follow along with as you watch the lectures, it is available to you. On the right, I have shown you an example of an image from the lab reference. This PDF should help you to complete the lab homework. Most of the chapters contain a lecture video recording that you can watch from within Blackboard. Some of these videos are very long and are not meant to be watched in one sitting. For instance, the Chapter 10 video takes me three separate lecture days to get through in my face-to-face -face class. Watching these videos from YouTube might be a little bit easier than doing so from within Blackboard. For instance, because I have closed captioned all of my videos, you could watch these on your phone with the volume turned all the way down, which could be very handy if you take the bus or watch these videos at work. You can also click through all of the videos one at a time from within the YouTube playlist. This is a bit easier to do than logging into Blackboard every time you just want to watch a video. All homework assignments are done within Blackboard. Here is what the lecture homework assignment for Chapter 1 looks like. To start this assignment, you must click over here on the blue link that says Click to Launch. That will bring you to a page here where you can enter all of your answers into these little boxes and you can save your answers. You do not have to finish this homework all in one sitting. As long as you save your answers, you could quit Blackboard and come back to it later. When you have finished the entire homework assignment, 
you must submit the homework assignment to me for grading by clicking this button down here that says save and submit. For instance, I have entered my answers here. I click save on these individual answers. And when I was happy with all of them, I would then submit this to the instructor for grading. Please give me 24 hours to grade this assignment. You will get two attempts at your homework assignments. I will provide feedback on your first attempt and you will have a chance to resubmit your assignment before the due date to increase the number of points that you get. Please keep in mind for multiple choice questions, the letters get scrambled. The answers will remain the same, but option A might now be option C. So pay attention to what you are clicking on. When you click the submit button, this is the screen that you should see next, telling you that you have actually submitted your homework to the instructor. You will be able to click immediately to see what you have submitted and see how the computer has auto graded this assignment. Please keep in mind, I actually grade these assignments. The computer does make some mistakes, especially for the ones that require you to type in answers rather than click buttons. Once you have submitted your lecture homework, you're going to have to find chapter one again. Click on the lessons homepage over here to the left. That should bring you to this page here that we're looking at now. And from here, click on chapter one again. You can always find the chapters by clicking on the lessons homepage button to your left. Once you find the lab homework, you can start this assignment by clicking on the click to launch button once again. Unlike the lecture homework, the lab homework is only presented to you one question at a time. So you're going to have to click through the questions individually using this right hand arrow over here. This is to save students who might have slow internet connections from having to download all of the images all at once. Some of these homework assignments can have big images and a, quite a number of them. The lab homework is entirely matching. You will take a look at this image here and then enter in the correct answers that correspond to the letters down here. And once you are done, again, you will click the next question button over to the right hand side here. Some of these questions do get a little bit messy. There may be a number of things for you to identify and all of the options may not fit into the window all at once, requiring you to scroll up and down to see all of the possible answers. Nonetheless, this should be a lot easier than having you type in everything. It's certainly going to be quicker for the computer to auto grade things this way. Keep in mind though that the exams will actually have you type in the answers. You will not be given a word bank like you are here on the homework. Once you get to the last question and you've entered all of the answers for this, just like for the lecture homework, you will click on save and submit. And this will submit your completed assignment to Blackboard for grading. The lab homework is graded automatically by the computer. So you can view your results immediately. To do so, click on the My Grades link over here to the left hand side, and that will bring you to this page that shows you all of the assignments that you have submitted and that have been graded. At this point, the lecture homework that we did has not been graded yet, but the lab assignment does have a grade. If you wish to do a second submission or just want to check your answers, click on the blue link here for the name of the assignment. That will bring you to another page where it'll give you another blue link for the score. Sorry about this, but you have to click on that one next. And that will bring you to all of the answers that you submitted. The answers that you chose are listed down here. The number of those that are correct is shown up here. 
In this case, you only got three out of those ten correct. I can't have Blackboard tell you which ones were correct and which ones weren't, just the total points. I know that's not ideal, but that's all that I have to work with at this time. Hopefully that will be enough to help you to improve your score for a second submission. After the due date, the answers will be provided to you, as you can see here. However, this information will not be given to you until after the assignment due date. But this should help you to study for the lab exams. Keep in mind that the lab homework and the lecture homework do not cover every single thing that I could possibly test you on. To help you with the lab portion, I have these lab lists that are found within the lab homework PDFs. They are at the end of each of the chapters. And these are all of the possible answers for the lab identification portions of your midterms. Keep in mind that on the homework assignments that you did, you simply matched the items to their proper location. But on the midterms, you will be asked to type in the answers and you will not be given a word bank. This is to match my face-to-face -face students. After you have completed the lecture homework and lab homeworks, there might be a concept review video for you to watch. These are usually very short, about 10 to 15 minutes. And these cover some of the more complicated concepts, ones that were too complex for me to ask you questions on the lecture homework, but ones that may show up on the midterms. These concept review videos usually follow the questions that are found in my study guides. So you may wish to download the study guide PDFs. At the end of every chapter, I have a reminder to use the discussion boards. You can always click the discussion link found here to the left. This is where you would pose questions to the class or to me. Clicking on the discussions link will bring you here and I have already created the various subjects where you can post questions. For instance, if you have questions about chapter one, post them to the chapter one section. Clicking on that link will bring you here and you will see at this time, nobody has asked me any questions related to chapter one. Don't be afraid to create a new thread, give it a useful title so that other people can read it easily and give me 24 hours to post a reply. After 24 hours, possibly longer on weekends, I should have any of the homework assignments that you have submitted to me graded. As you will see here, there is now a score for this lecture homework. You could click on this blue link now to take a look at all of the questions, all of your answers, and any feedback that I may have provided to you to try and help you on your second submission. Clicking on the blue link to the lecture homework brings you up this page here that gives you another blue link, your score, and clicking on that should now bring you to the pages where all of your answers and the correct answers are listed. All of the homework assignments are submitted through Blackboard and you can do these at home. The two midterms and final exam, however, you must come to campus to take. There's an instructions page for each of the midterms and final that will tell you exactly what you need to do and provide you links to the Mount Hood Community College Testing Center locations and hours. There's also a practice exam in each of these that you should take. It's not worth any points in the class, but the practice exam picks questions from the same pools that the actual midterms and final do. So you will find it very useful to you to take these. If you give me 24 hours, I will even mock grading this practice exam for you so that you can see how I assign partial credit. 
found within each of the midterm and final exam units is the last type of assignment, a book to bedside essay. This is the only assignment that you will be doing outside of Blackboard using whatever sort of word processing software that you have. If you do these essays, save them, you will upload your finalized essay to Blackboard within these midterm and final exam units. That's my introduction. Now let's get to work.